Phoenix, how have you found adjusting to the new teammates? Yeah, it's it's been great. Um, obviously, we're we're in two weeks into preseason, and I think it, it's been a, a very good experience for myself. Um, We've all gone together. I mean, there's there's a good core that's come back from last season, and a, a few guys coming in uh, new to the to the team. And I think we've all gone along pretty well. And yeah, it's, it's been good a good experience so far. Yeah, not just on the field, of course, but even off the field. How do you think everyone's settling in together? Yeah, of course. I think we all, like I said, we all get along pretty well. Um, I know most of the guys live in the same uh, apartment complex, and there's a few a few guys who who do not like myself, but um, regardless, I think in the locker room, we all get along pretty well. And yeah, it's, it's a good group of guys that, that, that are in the locker room, so yeah. What's it like being back in Arizona? Uh, it's, it, it's a dream for me, honestly, you know, growing up here, I have my family close, close to me. So it, it was a very easy decision for me to, to come back home and, and play for, for Phoenix. So it's, it's been amazing so far, and I'm looking forward to getting the season started here. It's a club that you've had your eye on wanting to play for for a, a while? Or? Definitely. No, yeah, definitely. Uh, ever since the club started, I've always been a, been a fan of, of, the, of the team and I've always followed along and watched all the games. And even when I was um, in Omaha, I was a, a fan of the club and wanted to come here. So for, like I said, it, for me, it was an easy decision to come and play for, for Phoenix. Of course, you've had a, a good number of your old teammates in Omaha have also made the jump up to the championship over the years. Have, yeah. have any of them given you any advice on what it's like stepping up from League One? Um, to be honest, no. Um, I do speak to, to a few of them. Um, for example, Greg, who, who played here before. Um, I've spoken to him for a little bit. Um, I've, it's been a while since we've spoken, but um, we do. last time we spoke, we, we did mention about the, the change in level and stuff. And, and stuff like that, but um, there hasn't really been much advice, to be honest. You ready to play against Greg this year? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, I mean, it, it's a big game, not not just uh, for myself and for him, but for the club. Uh, New Mexico is a, a big rival, so yeah, looking forward to that. And I heard it's a it's a good atmosphere when when that ca game comes around. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of competition in that midfield. Have you found like just the, the competition between the guys out on the training? Game yeah, um, coming here. Um, so this was when when Juan was was still head coach and he was recruiting me. He he made sure that I knew that it was it was going to be a competitive group, um, and I, I think that that helped with with my mindset coming in here, knowing that I'm going to have to earn my spot here. So um, I think that's only good for the team because you want to you want to have a, a group a, a group of 22 starters and. Um, it's only good for the team where everyone could start for, for the, the team on any game. And yeah, it's, it's good to have that competition. And how would you best describe your playing style in that midfield? I would say I'm a, I'm a very hard worker. Um, I like to play both offensively and defensively. Um, I like to score goals and get assists, but I also like to keep a clean sheet and, and help the team on the defensive end. So I would say I, I'm a hard worker on both sides of the field and yeah very uh, like a true box-to-box -box midfielder I would say and yeah coming up now this weekend and into next week of course heading over to uh, Coachella uh, what do you think that experience is going to give you guys as a group yeah I think I think it'll be a great experience obviously I think it it speaks a lot of the respect the the club has um, from teams like in the MLS where we get invited to to compete in, in a preseason tournament like that playing against uh, Minnesota and Charlotte obviously there there's going to be more MLS teams but yeah I think it'll be a, a very good experience for the team to play against top com top competition and it'll only help us to prepare for for the season and then you mentioned earlier obviously about being recruited by Juan to come in here and of course he leaves very shortly before mm. uh, everyone reports back here but how have you found the transition from, from Juan being in charge to Danny yeah I'm I mean I it, it's hard for me to say because when I first got here Danny was was the main guy even though he wasn't officially announced as the head coach um, but I think he's done very well because uh, ever since day one he's been the leader of the team and Obviously, he, he officially uh, was named the head coach and not much changed. He, he still proceeded um, as th like he did in day one where he took the reins and it's been good so far, to be honest. Uh, I, I really enjoy him being the, the head coach and I think most of the guys were, are happy that, that the club made him the, the head coach. Then obviously Diego coming in recently, uh, what have been your first impressions of him as an assistant coach? Yeah, I mean, it's only his second day here, so um, there's still more to to learn from him and to get to know from him. But um, he's been good. 
um, obviously there's there's a lot of uh, Hispanic players in in the group who maybe don't speak English that well or don't understand so that's something I've noticed where he's he's been uh, the the translator for them and he's making sure that everyone understands what we're doing uh, when it comes to drills or certain tactics and yeah he's, he's been good so far and um, just looking like from Twitter uh, I know he I think he was the coach of the year from Nisa so obviously um, he has some good experience coming into the club and yeah I think he's a great addition to the team obviously coming in here to this team that won a, a championship last year what kind of pressure does that add um, it'll it'll bring a lot of pressure. Um, to be honest, I think Phoenix has always had a target on on their back, um, and now after winning the the championship last year, that that target's going to be even bigger. Every we're going to get the best out of every team, and everyone's going to try to come out and beat us. And we have to be mentally prepared for that and just expect that. And and I think that's something um, we'll we're working on in preseason. And and Danny has mentioned that to us where. We have to expect the best out of every team. So um, it is a, a lot of pressure, but I think we have the, the group to handle that, that sort of pressure. Okay. Can I just, how would you describe Danny as a head coach? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he's, he's been a very good coach. Um, from my point of view, I think something I really like from him is the way he gives out his message. It's very clear, and, and I, I would say the rest of the guys would agree when, when he gives out his message whether it be tactically or, or whatever the case I think he it's easy to understand for for us players so that that's something that stood out for me